Hi guys, Flozen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the new hero upcoming from the Elemental City. That means Donald Rebley is not going to be alone anymore. There's going to be another hero from the Foresters that will shake all of the burn teams right now. So before we go ahead and review the hero, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more awesome contents in IMR. Thanks guys. The hero's name is Ogrades, quality is legend, faction foresters, the type is support, and the mark is red. Okay, let's go ahead and um start with her faction, um, foresters. So one thing I've noticed is that um under this faction there are no heroes that can actually inflict burn. Um a lot of heroes from here inflicts poison and bleed. But Burn is just very new under this faction, so it's actually really great news to add a hero that pretty much helps Luna in Faction Abyss. So aside from Luna, we can always have Taff and Veronica around, Maeve as well, a very powerful damage dealer, direct damage dealer in fact, and yeah, and the likes. So, it's awesome to know as well that she's under red mark, knowing that I've focused a lot of uh, of buffing up my red mark talents here, and I'm sure you as well. And since we that's since having um Ulcaster, Lucifer, um Lucia around, and Brynhild as well, we are forced to buff our red mark talents. So this is pro this is pretty much good news for us. Um, having Ogredis under red mark so um let's go ahead and proceed on her skill set um wind penetration deals attack damage to a single enemy if the target doesn't have amber or burn deals extra attack damage that ignores death if the target has amber or burn deals extra detonation damage um this basic attack i think it's it's actually quite odd because some bur some burn type heroes usually has um, burn on their basic attack. Let's say Barry. Barry has a burn dot on his basic attack, but Ogredis doesn't have one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dig deeper to know more about this Ember. First active skill is called Violent Winds. Deals attack damage to all enemies. If the targets do not have Ember, deals extra attack damage that ignores death. If the targets have at least one layer of Ember, then there is a chance that each layer of Ember inflicts one layer of burn on them for two turns. So I'm really quite curious about this Ember um, Ember mark. This would actually be really helpful for her to deal more damage since it would depend on how many Ember dots, on how many Ember stacks the enemy has so that um, she can inflict the same amount of burn dot. It's also quite interesting that she can deal extra attack damage that ignores death. This means she can punish Brynhild and other defenders out there with no sweat. This would be an awesome feature for her since um, she can do this uh, from her basic attack and her first active skill. So let's go ahead and proceed with her passive skill right now, which is Flame Wind. Whenever an ally deals detonation damage, Ogrades grants the ally a wind shelter for two turns, up to one layer, during which additionally increases the speed by 40%. Wind Shelter cannot coexist with other effects that increases speed. Besides, when an enemy takes detonation damage dealt by an ally other than Ogrades, Ogrades will inflict one layer of Ember on the enemy for two turns, up to three layers. Each layer of Ember increases burn damage taken by the owner. If the owner is a boss, increases more burn damage taken. From what we read, this is insanely good for guild boss and uh, it's pretty much enabling all of the burn type heroes out there. This ember mark is quite ridiculous to the fact that it actually can be stacked up to 3 layers. And from what we read uh, from her first active skill, there's a chance that each layer of ember inflicts one layer of burn on them for 2 turns. 
I can imagine an enemy having a three stacks of ember, and when um Ogrady's use her violent winds, she can inflict one layer of burn on each layer of ember the enemy has. So on top of that bonus burn damage, there would be an automatic burn infliction on that enemy. So on top of detonation damage due to two layers of burn, there would be a remaining one layer of burn that's ready to pop any time of the day. So this is just really powerful for burn type heroes and they can definitely do PvE right now. Aside from using Nita that can abuse poison, there's always burn type heroes like um, Ogrady's, Eric or Barry that can, you know, that burst, burst down enemies using Dot. So I, I think that's really powerful. Let's go ahead and proceed with her second active skill, Fiery Wind. Deals three stages of attack damage um, each to all enemies. If the targets are not under burn status, there is a chance to inflict one layer of burn on them for two turns. If the targets are under burn status, deals extra burn damage. The more layers Ember the targets have, the more extra burn damage dealt. Okay, this is just really insane for for enemies that has Ember Mark. Again, it's always going to be depending on how many Ember layers the enemy has. The more layers of Ember, the more damage dealt. And take note that this attack has three stages. So this means uh, we can actually uh, use this attack to counter Santa's Apple. I think it's actually very crucial to increase her attack and mastery since uh, she's a support type hero. Um, naturally, she doesn't have lots of attack. On top of that, we need to secure her effect hit as well to make sure that all of the all of the burn dots will going to be inflicted successfully. And yeah, maybe master would be really the priority right now for her. And having her having Anna around would definitely help her, since Anna can actually um, increase the burn damage dealt with the help of her um, exclusive level two. Let's go ahead and proceed with her exclusive right now because um, it's just really hyping to know that this set of kits that she has without exclusive, she can she can be considered as one of your PVE lineup already. With exclusives, let's see how we can weigh her. Level 1, at the beginning of each battle, O'Grady's additionally gains 0.6% caps at 100% healing effect and shield effect for every 1% mastery owned. Besides, restores 8% of max HP for allies with wind shelter at the beginning of each turn. So her mastery is going to play a major role in terms of her supporting skills. This can definitely match Luna's sustaining abilities. That 8% max HP healing is ridiculous for a support slash burn team enabler. And take note that this is going to be effective only for allies that has wind shelter. Let's go ahead and check her exclusive level 2 this time. When each stage of fiery wind deals damage, if the targets have less than 3 layers of ember, inflicts 1 layer of ember for 2 turns. If the targets have 3 layers of ember, increases the extra burn damage dealt. And this is insanely good just because she can possibly stack 3 layers of ember already once she casts fiery wind. Then the domino effect will start. She can deal more burn damage, she can possibly inflict more burn layers, and the allies around her can definitely benefit from that Ember Mark. This is just setting her pace much faster considering that she can give speed buff to her allies. Let's go ahead and proceed with her exclusive level 3. At the beginning of each allies, excluding self turn, deals 60% burn damage to all enemies under burn status. There is a 60% chance to inflict one layer of burn on those who are not under burn status for two turns. This is a powerful exclusive to have, especially in PvE, since um, uh, O'Grady's allies can actually inflict and deal 60% burn damage to all of the enemies each of their turn. 
I bet Eric's going to be inflicting a lot of stuns, and uh, I guess Anna is going to be detonating a lot of burns. Barry is going to be doing a lot of pursues with his passive as well, just because O'Grady's can inflict burn every each of her turn. That is just alone is broken. That is just alone convinces us that we need to start building our burn heroes right now. If we if we would like to push um PVE content especially, I should say this is effective in PvP as well since if Pauline cleanses a layer of buff or a layer of burn from uh, from uh, from his allies or Catherine cleanses a layer of burn, O'Grady's is designed to put another layer of burn to them. So um, this is pretty much going to be enabling other burn heroes to put detonation damage even faster. Let's go ahead and check the exclusive level 4 increases speed by 50 and burn damage dealt by O'Grady's. Besides, when casting Violent Winds grants O'Grady's one layer of spark for every layer of burn inflicted. Okay, another mark that she can take advantage of. Each layer of spark additionally increases burn damage dealt by O'Grady's for, for 3 turns up to 8 layers. So, um, okay, so this is this is effective only once she cast Violent Winds, only for that skill. And uh, this is a maximum of 8 layers as well. This, I mean, it would be really hard to build or to stack this um, spark, but I think it's just a decent add for her, just to make sure uh, she's going to be dealing more burn damage. But there's just a lot of burn damage going on right now for O'Grady's. I just don't know how much we can actually measure the damage that she can deal. But on paper, it, it looks really ridiculous. Let's go ahead and check her final exclusive right now. Increases speed by 50 after casting Wind Penetration proactively for every enemy under burn status or with Ember increases all allies turn meter by 5% up to 20% by this effect each turn the enemy with both burn and amber will not increase allies turn meter repeatedly she's going to work as, as a support on top of dealing burst damage to enemies this is really interesting since she's got speed buff from detonating burns she's pretty much going to her turn often and this means providing turn meters to her allies as well. This is going to be a powerful supporting mechanic since she's doing this on her basic attack. And I think burn teams specializes at swiftness on bursting waves after waves. Plus, I'm actually dealing a lot of damage and enabling and I'm creating an opening to my other burn type heroes so this is just ridiculous right now I'm just really interested on getting this hero but I'm just not sure of when I can actually get the hero since I, I just don't have enough shards right now and to be honest I'm actually just <laughs> I'm actually farming uh, elemental CD lazily right now because I just don't have the troops to cope up with the stages. That's pretty much it. Ogredis is just really incredible add to the roster. If there would be a chance for us to get her sooner, that would be really beautiful. But right now, I'm, I'm just sitting here staring at Donald Rebelly. I'm just not really imagining myself getting this guy since I do have a lot of um, attackers right now that I'm actually just pushing through. I'm just, you know, contented enough on how they can perform and how they can contribute on my advanced arena. So Donald Rebelly is definitely not the best answer for me to get in Elemental City. So I'm just going to be farming that O'Grady's unit for sure. What's your thoughts about O'Grady's guys? I'm just stunned right now because this hero is quite incredible to have.
Considering that it would take us a long time to get her since we need to summon Donald Rebelly first, it would really take us a long time and it would be a huge investment on our end. So that's it for this video. Like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more reviews and more fun content and I'm more happy gaming guys.